First race of the day at Sandown on Saturday, Coral Eclipse Day, is the 1,000 metre handicap. It really will be a huge, huge speed test. Some of the fastest handicappers we've seen this season, they assemble. We've got 10 declared runners for it. I'll pick out a couple that we will be looking at. Sahek, we'll be looking at Spoof, and we'll be looking, first of all, at Mockatil. We previewed this race, Graham, and Mockatil, although it wasn't necessarily a course-shattering time, can't help but be taken by the performance of Mockatil. Yeah, trainer Ian Williams has been a, a regular feature on our Whirlpool shows and Mockatil, um, Sean in the dash on Derby Day, red hot sprint handicap and he just proved too tough, some really handy horses. Up, up in the weights, he's got a slight change in headgear, uh, visor for the first time, up in the weights but still a strong chance I think John. Certainly is, um, they went a really strong gallop, albeit in rain, softened ground as you'd expect in the dash. He wasn't necessarily on my radar uh, prior to the race, but he was at the end of it and he's gone up six ratings points. Uh, the handicapper has given him a tougher task here, but he might still go well. Okay, let's have a look. They flooded in behind that day, behind Mokita. One of them was the horse who finished eighth, that was Sahek, who has since come to Sandown and won. Yeah, and Sandown form is obviously a plus for him. Yeah, he's a it. pretty well exposed horse, but when we pick him out here, you can see that He's right on his A game at the moment. He's travelling very, very strongly. It's a similar type of race this weekend. He's slightly up in the weights, but when you see a horse travelling like this in the heat of a sprint handicap, John, you know he's he's banging form. Yeah, I think you get a lovely pace set up here as well. Bossy Pop and Pop Dancer are two fairly sort of weak pace angles in the race. I think they'll go forward, but I don't think they've got a great deal form-wise. So you'll have lovely targets to aim at. And uh, yeah, this will have brought him on well too. He's going to go on top for me. I think uh, that uh, straight track down the, the centre there at Sandown mm. suits him really well. So that was a look at Sahek, who came out of the Epsom Dash and went on to win at Sandown. How about another horse who likes it at Sandown? Two from six is the form figures at the Sandown track for Spoof. This was him last August, but in terms of recent form, Graham, he was in winning action just a few days ago. Absolutely. It's Charles Hills and James Doyle, the combination. And again, when we pick him up, there he's number two, I think, on the saddle cloth. You can see from the jockey's body language and his generosity that he's going to play a significant part in the finish. It's not a runaway win, but it's a pretty tidy one, and his recent form and fitness are beyond question. Another solid contender in what is clearly uh, a feisty little sprint to open the car. John, what say you on Spoof? Uh, yeah, I thought he had the race run to suit when he won at Chester the other day, but this was a pretty good effort, and uh, he gets in the numbers again. He will probably just settle up in mid-division behind that speed and uh, hopefully uh, uh, be pouncing in the closing stage as he goes in there. Right, we'll have one last look at the declarations. We've mentioned a few of them. Anything else, just catch the eye, Graham. Yeah, I think John's touched briefly on Bossy Pop, and, and, and I'll expand on that a little. Uh, he's like plenty in this field. He wins in his turn. I don't think he got the race run to suit at Chester last time. He didn't break that well, uh, didn't get the ideal track position, continued his run of good efforts. It's wide open. I'm going to go 5, 3, 2, and 8, which will be Bossy Pop, Mokatil, uh, Lihu, who's dead consistent, and Eight Sahek, who, who has to be in the numbers based on the way he travelled at Sandown last time. OK, they were the selections of Graham Cunningham in a pretty red-hot sprint handicap. Some informed sprinters in there. John, what are you one, two, three, four? Yeah, I'm a Sahek man here. I think you get absolutely everything set up really well for him in the run. I like Phoenix Star as well. It also come up from off the uh, pace in pretty good form at the moment. Uh, spoof for the reasons given, and Lihu won't be too far away either. That's the one, two, three, four for me. So that's a 1,000 metre handicap. It's the first race on a glittering card at Sandown this Saturday.